Welcome back to Devil's Details Diecast. This is a GMC High Roller that I found at a flea market uh, recently that is in dire need of some rehab and uh, some customizing. Uh, love the cast. As you can see, heavily played with broken wheels, etc. It's got a little flip down gate in the back, which is pretty cool. So we're going to transform this into uh, something more uh, pleasing to the eye and something that's more deserved of. So stick around for that and uh, we'll see what we come up with. And if you remember previously, this is what she looked like. Very beat up, broken wheels, heavily uh, played with, heavily oxidized, some spots. Just an overall tough shape. And this is what we ended up with. Alright, what we have here is a very dirty yard truck, I would call it. Yard dumper. Um, I told you I'd bring back that yellow truck to some glory, but, uh, <laughs> that's about as much glory as it's ever going to see. Um, need to source a new windshield for it, as you can see there. Had some difficulty. I couldn't find the original windshield. I don't know where it ended up, and I had that spare kicking around. Um, uh, but it was red, so I decided to paint it, um which came out fine but as you can see there's a little bit of gap there and the windshield got kinda messed up somehow I don't know if it was the glue or the paint or whatever but uh, in any event this is just gonna be a yard truck uh, it's gonna sit around in the garage dio probably over here in the side yard but um, yeah I did a little bit of detailing to it some lights Obviously a very old scruffy paint job. Looks like it's had a couple of paint jobs in its day, uh, which I was going for. And a little tip truck on the back. 
So, like I said, this is going to be uh, placed right over here in the dio. Get my son's car out of the way. Probably just be parked over here in the yard. And, uh, yeah, it serves its purpose. So, uh, I was happy how it came out. I'm trying to work on some weathering and some older, uh, older looking stuff. So, I'm pleased with that. And, uh, I'll catch you on the next one.